So you're Maggie's new hombre, eh? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Like no other foreign comedian before him, Eugenio Derbez is now crossing over into uncharted American territory. I laugh a lot when people sometimes tell me about George Lopez and say, oh, George Lopez, he's Mexican. We say, no. <laughs> I, nobody knows uh, George Lopez in Mexico. Nobody. He's totally American. And I'm totally Mexican, as you can tell by my accent and my English. Challenging conventions are exactly what catapulted Mexico's king of comedy, where he is credited for renovating a national sense of humor, starting with sketch comedy shows that had audiences cracking up and his bosses cracking down. I was always asking for permission to do weird sketches, and they were like, no, 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 you do something that goes over the edge, and I don't like it, you're done. I will take the risk. The risk paid off, and although a new style of comedy had been born, Eugenio's reigning status as the go-to comic no longer piqued his interest. I was like just doing the same shows one after another. I was in my comfort zone. I was successful, but I, I thought that my, my career was like coming to an end. And then uh, I remember that when I was young, I was trying to come here to the US to make a career. So I said, I should go for my dreams. In Mexico, I have my driver, my production company, my assistant, famous, blah, blah, blah. I arrived to LA and I was nobody. It was like living two different worlds at the same time. Shut up! <laughs> Play with that rat! And I was doing that just like an exercise to see if I could make people laugh in English. And nobody knew me. Nobody. After being cast in a scene-stealing role against Adam Sandler in Jack and Jill, Eugenio helped CBS usher in the hottest new sitcom of the new year with Rob, starring SNL alum Rob Schneider. We Latinos, we're always trying to fit into the American culture. And here's different. Here's an American guy that's trying to fit into the Latin culture. I'm visiting from Mexico for the weekend. It's nice. I'm not leaving. <laughs> what? Ever. I'm still learning English and uh, it's hard, you know. I'm always staying like three or four hours after everybody's gone. I'm running my lines, uh, trying to pronounce it the correct way. Conventional wisdom has always been that foreign comedy almost always gets lost in translation. So long as the innovative comic is in on the joke, we're pretty sure American television will never be the same again. I feel I'm starting over again. I feel motivated, I feel that I'm learning, I'm hungry again. I wanna conquer the world again. It's like really like reinventing myself Never is too late for a beginning.